Hi, so I want to show you how to create assignments on Seesaw. So we're going to go ahead and go over here. No, we're going to go right there. All right, so Seesaw. Move my face down here. So if you are going to create an assignment, you want to hit that green plus sign, and then you're going to assign activity. Then you're going to hit the plus create new activity. Type in your title. So I'm going to put morning message. And then I'm going to come down here where it says add template for student responses. And then upload. You're going to go to where you find that file that you downloaded of the um, Seesaw messages. So say I'm going to my desktop, I'm going to find my Seesaw morning messages. I'm going to open that folder. Then inside that folder is the Seesaw Morning Messages folder and then a Seesaw Daily Review PDF. You are not gonna use the PDF, you're just gonna do the Seesaw Morning Messages. You wanna click that and you're gonna select which slide you want to give to students. You're gonna just give the students one at a time. So like I give my students one message a day. So say I want to put on slide 11. So I'm gonna choose slide 11 and it's gonna go into here. Then I'm gonna hit my checkbox. Now here is what the students are going to see. You could draw on this and add text and record, but if you do that, it messes it up for the students. So don't do anything here. Leave it alone for the students to use. Then hit the green check mark. If you wanted to do a instructions, don't do it on that slide. You'll do it here. So I'm going to go ahead and type um, use Seesaw tools to complete morning message. If I wanted to add um, some audio, a voice instructions, I would click it here. Or if I wanted to do a video for the morning to go with the slide, I could do that there. And it'll pop up on the top whenever they go to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Now you're here. We're ready to assign it to your class. So you wanna hit assign. And I'm gonna click my sample class because I've already done some work on my other class. Okay, so I wanna hit edit students and folders here because I want you to see this. I could just click which students I wanted if I just wanted a certain student to do the morning message, but I'm gonna click all of them. You could also make a folder for your morning messages, but you do not have to use a folder if you don't want to. That is not um, necessary or mandatory when you're assigning something. So I've got my students done and I've got my folders. So I'm ready to hit the check mark and it's ready to assign to the class. I could click this. If I click assign to one class right there, then it would go out immediately. But I wanna show you the schedule button and I want to uh, schedule it say for tomorrow. So the neat thing about Seesaw is I can go ahead and do all my assignments for the week and get it done. So I'm gonna assign this for eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So AM and then I'm gonna hit the check mark. Now I'm gonna click the assign on April 7th at 8 AM and then it is inside their um, activities page tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this and my low battery. All right, so then if I went back to the class, I wanna show you kind of how that looks. I go to the journal and say I wanna go to Josh's and I wanna see the activities and these are the things that he has been assigned to do. He if he was to do this one, he's just gonna add response and this is where he would use the text box or the microphone or the camera. And then those are the three dots I talk about that has the shapes inside of it right there. So like if he was filling out the tin frame, he could even um, put in some emojis in there to fill his tin frame. And then all his drawing tools down here. And once he has completed this, and see like there's the view instructions up at the top, that's where your video or your audio instructions would also be right there too. They would just click that to see what they're supposed to do. And then you hit the, they'll hit the check mark and it'll come back to you. I hope that that clears up what, um, on how to assign something. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me and let me know and I will try to answer those questions. Thank you.